One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is a really nice 1991 Mustang Convertible 5.0 GT. Everything works. It's a good car. I actually drove around a bit. I was going to be driving it a bit more, but I just didn't. And then I was going to sell it a while back, then COVID hit. And you know, now I'm going to sell it. It's a nice car. It's a one owner car. It has about 60,000 original miles on it. I'm going to do this once around here and kind of show you the once around. And then I'm going to go up close, show you any minor damages, flaws, and stuff like that. Um, it ain't perfect, but it's a nice car. Survivor. This thing is nice. My name is Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. You can reach me anytime. And check the website. There should be like 60 pictures of this car on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go around, show you a little, see like little scuffs like that, a little crack in there on the paint. All this is good, but chip is right there, and you see a wear through spot here. Um, it's just kind of hazy on the hood, just a little hazy. Um, chippage in here, and there's a chip right under here, and miscellaneous, there's a piece that peeled off right here. It's starting to get checking and chipping in the paint. Hope you can see that. And little scratches and checking starting. Going down the side, it's a straight car. It ain't all dented up, not all banged up or nothing. But, dang, not hardly a ding in it. And that's why I liked it. I had it painted because it was so straight. Well, wish I would have. Uh, have somebody else paint it. I don't know, man. You know, you get a bad paint job from somebody, a little piece of that can get double stick tape on there a little better. But it's clean, it's straight. A little piece of this stuff here is nice, but this is all flaking off. Um, a little like that. It's not damaged. There's a tear in the top right here. It was in good shape until I took it down a couple summers ago and then did that. So, that is that. What was I thinking? Oh. Some of these seals are drying up a little bit and even shortened because of that. Um, other than that, this is what I was thinking. This top cover cap is missing. And I'll show you the one on the other side. There's some spots on here that don't come off. It's a little discolored. It was in great shape when I had it, but I got a little use out of it. I've had it for six years and I don't know. It is what it is. Checking, starting in the back paint here. And little spider crack type things, how it gets in the bumpers. And they're a little faded. Underneath it, this thing's clean. I brought it from California, got it in San Diego. And see, just checking and chippage right up in there. A little discolored here, needs to be repainted. The black part. Same thing with the marks there. Going down this side, it's straight. There's a little. Something in here happening, checking, just like this. Checking and chippage. Nice um, pony wheels, I love the white and the... These are dry rotted, so you know. Tires look great, they have all kinds of tread, but it's a one owner car. It's probably only got about 5,000 miles on them, but they got checking in the tread and I wouldn't drive them that much and blow it off and blow this thing apart. The handle's red underneath there. This here's chipped up a little bit. Kind of chipped off of that piece. Same as the other side here. Tent is bubbling. This could use a freshening up. And that's pretty much what I can say about it. Headlights, man, I'd rip these things out and replace them. They're faded a little bit. A little bit of condensation in that one. I'd rip them out and replace them. So that's your once around. And that's your look at it. I'm going to take it for a test drive. I can't go that fast because it's sat a long time and it's got flat spots in the tires. But we're going to go for the test drive now. 61,000 original miles. Check engine light comes on. Uh, mass airflow sensor. And I'm not going to go too far in this. Or get on it too much because of the tires having the flat spots. 
not be in all that good shape. But it shifts, downshifts, just like it should. The car is a nice car. It is a nice driver. And if you know how these things are, they're light in the tail end and a lot of fun. That sand right there puts you in the ditch, boy. But. It wants to get loose, too. <laughs> There you go. That's your test drive, and that's as fast as I'm gonna go because, like I said, there's a little bit of a wobble on it because of those flat spots in the tires from just not being driven. Um, usually I'd go down that little side road there, but I'm not gonna do that in this car. Under the hood's in great shape, and it may get loud in a minute here because I'm out by the road, but that's nice, and the motor is in great running shape. It's got, uh, Headers on it. They are idle block headers. And I don't know what all has been done to it, but it's nice and peppy. And I know it's got that, but it's not factory. But 5.0 HO. Let me get the hood closed here and I'll show you with the top down. Alright, the trunk is for sure clean. There ain't even no spare. So, that's how it is. That's, you can tell though, it ain't all corroded out. A little surfacey corrosion that wipes off with your finger. But this thing's tight. Came from California. It's a good car. A little bit of wear through there, too. All right, here I am another time of night where the top down. I'm going to walk around it real quick and show you how it looks tonight. And the paint looks really good right now, but it's not really good. It's definitely not really good. It's, it's nice, it's presentable. But I mean, if you're looking for people that want, you know, show quality stuff, this is not show quality. This is awesome to just drive around, enjoy it, and paint it sometime when you can. It's a nice, clean car that has not that many flaws. And I'm going to show you, I just did the motor and under the, in the trunk. I'm going to show you the interior now and pretty much wrap this thing up. Be done with it. By the way, the mirror is off. I think my son... Reached up and yanked it off. So you need a mirror kit. $2.95. $2.95. Look at these seats. Not all ripped up or torn up. They're in great shape. Still pliable and nice. Um, no wear on the pedals. 61,000 original miles. It's not a Cobra, but it has the Cobra. Mats that will come with it. Just gorgeous. Even the top of the seats. Not all dried up. Nice and pliable. Um, back here. Nice. It's clean. I went to roll the window down and the button pushed in. Real glass back window. And. Door panels are in great shape. I don't know if I showed you the other one, but I will. Dash is in great shape. This seat's no different. Even the seat belt clips. Usually, them are long gone. There's some tape over the end of that. Why? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there. It looks like factory almost. I think it is. Man, that's about that. Ooh. It's getting old on that plastic. And it's stuck right there. Okay, I'm in it. I'm going to pop that top back up. Works well under its own derision or what have you. I don't know the right word, but you don't need to help it up. It's got good hydraulics. There we go. Boom. Okay. now huh that wouldn't work earlier I've healed it that's the one there I want to show you and a little smudge right there that's it it's clean underneath the car like I say it's a California car and it's 
clean. Show you the front and say bye bye. Subscribe, like, comment. I've got all kinds of videos on here. I'm gonna get a little bit farther, don't I? There you go. It's a clean car. I put my mail on it. That's that. Thanks for watching. Nathan 406 546 8748. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.